I like this quote, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share it with you. By getting up each morning before the family gets up, you make time for the most important thing you will do all day long. And once you've received from the Father what you need for your day by reading His Word, you will have what your dear family and others need to receive from you all day long. Hey everybody, it's Marcia from Kansas Misfit, and I'm going to continue in my book today, even though it's not Friday, and usually the day I do it, so I'm going to start doing more to get the book done faster, because... I don't have a lot of things that I can do from my videos and I want to get some 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 information out to you guys and this is the best way I can do it by just doing it so here we are we're going to continue on the 10 disciplines for developing a passion for God's Word and we're on number seven which is beat the family does that sound strange what I mean it is that's the wrong one. Yeah, that's right. What I mean is to aim at getting up before the family gets up. Now, would it sound any better if I said beat the family up? As you take time via the pers uh, personal quiet time to tune in your heart strings to heaven then amazingly your t your tune is sweeter with when, when your husband and children get up it's also sweeter as you whistle or hum a happy tune while going to work going about your work in your quiet time you've touched perhaps in the Gospels the Savior's life and his life has once again touched yours you've poured into your heart's concerns perhaps through the Psalms and you like your writers rise up better strengthening strengthened for one more day a peace content and ready to focus on others and serve them in for Christ's sake. With God's help and fresh fortitude, your day is undoubtedly undoubting as your as your face it, it, its challenges. Reminders from the Old Testament of God's care for his people down through the ages will will arm you. Extor exhortations from the authors of the New Testament episodes in uh, Stand Strong to fight the good fight to walk the worthy walk for just one more day and will strengthen you we both know that our day takes a whole a new flavor when you've got God's Word first so why not give your your family and or your workmates the blessings of God's divine influence in your life? Okay. Then we'll go over here in the study guide and see what it says about step number seven. Beat the family. As I said, this may sound strange, but by getting up each morning before the family gets up you make time for the most important thing you will do all day gotta get close to God guys gotta get close to God I gotta get close to God and once you've received from the Father what you need for the day by reading his word you will then have what you your, your dear family I mean, you will then have what your dear family and others need to receive from you all day long. Now, 
how can you make the discipline in reality? You know, it's kind of strange. Like this morning, it's not really strange, but you know, it. it for instance, this morning I I got up. Oh, I got I get up several times at night because you know nature calls, and I get up and then the cat wants milk or whatever, and so I don't get a, a full night's sleep. But yet I get up and I do what I gotta do. Then I go back to bed. And then I saw this morning I got up and it wasn't quite time for us to get up or anything, but I saw the light outside starting to brighten. So it's like, hmm, it's my time. So I got, I didn't read the Bible and I should have did that. I just made blueberry muffins for my husband for, for his breakfast to go with the cereal that we had. But I should have read the Bible first, you know, they don't take that much time and, and he's, the Lord's sitting there, standing there, watching over us, whatever he's doing. He's watching over us and he's said, please come to me today. Would you talk to me today? Would you come to me? Read my scriptures. Come to me. He's just waiting and hoping. And so many people get caught up in the world, including myself. And don't even do what needs to be done. What we should be doing. So don't worry about what's going on in the world right now. Worry about your eternal life. Not your... But what, uh, what I'm trying to say is, stop worrying about life. Yes, we we're living in this world. And we, that's what we're doing. But so many people caught up in just living in the world. And... You know, seeing how much money they can make or see how many people they can help, which is good, some of it. But, you know, if you're just doing that to improve yourself and not help others, then, you, you know, you need to do some changes. The cat sure is getting wild. <laughs> but anyway, um, we, if we put our, our, our love for the Lord in hit to him each morning you know read our scriptures even if it's just a little bit um we would be more loving towards our pets our children our spouse our parents our boss people were driving down the street you know you won't get so upset when someone might cut you off or follow too close behind you anyway our our manners will change for the better if we put God first. That's all I'm trying to say. And it's not, it's easy to say. But once you start it, you feel so much better by putting God first. And I hope this touched somebody today. I hope like everything, I'm going to start reading more of this, um, you know, daily until I get this book done. Because look, I have barely budgeted it. We have this much more to go. We've only did this much. It's going to take forever. I'd like to finish this. I have other books I want to read, you know, but I'd like to finish this before the year's up. So, tomorrow I'll be reading the next one. I'm just going to continue and just get it. Let's get it done. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow for number eight, which is Teach Your Children. So if you want to see what it says about teaching your children, even if your children's grown, maybe it's something we could do even if our children are grown to set an example for them to do for their children. You know, it just little things we just have to take one day at a time. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, leave them in the comment section and I'd be glad to do my best to answer them. And if you have any prayer requests, please, I would love to pray because that's what God wants. He wants us to pray for each other. He wants us to do things for each other. And we can't without each other's help. If you don't ask, no one will know. God knows, but you have to ask. So, see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Ta-ta.